This will give you an idea why a video has to do with disassembling the forms for this concrete job at the culvert. See the geese aren't happy that I'm here today. But one thing, when I put that parchment paper around this piece of PVC, the goal was to be able to withdraw it later. And you see the piece of PVC turns, so I can pull that out easily. The parchment paper is biodegradable. So, that was easy. I have a little hole. So now I'll just grab the screw gun and start disassembling. Well, my curb is exposed. That all looks fine. Have the form loosened up. So now it's time to put on the waders, go down in the water, and take off the rest of it. When I installed this thing, I was concerned about the water wicking up that piece of OSB. It's been in here a number of weeks, and you see it didn't come up very far, and it held the wall together. So now is the moment of truth. This is what my finished product looks like. You can see the lines where I had the three separate pores. So it's not perfect by any means, but I think it's adequate to do what I was trying to do, which is just to hold this driveway back so it doesn't wash out here. And this is my little drain hole. And you can see it does its job. So, I'll step over here and when I install these things, I left the nut side of my retaining bolt to the inside of the culvert so I can remove my chains right now and recover them. And that'll be it. Well, I'm ready to say goodbye to this project, consider it done. So I took some of the old rocks that were here and just kind of piled them up on the ends. Got my little drain cleared out. And if you ever asked yourself, hey, I see the road commission stacking up bags of quickcrete, and it looks like they're making a wall out of those, but they're not wetting them. What's going on? So this is what a bag of quickcrete looks like 30 years later when a wall is made out of quickcrete and the moisture from the earth is allowed to go in and turn those things into bricks, basically. But a couple of these had fallen out of this area that I just put the concrete into. So 3,750 pounds later, we have a concrete berm that I suspect will outlast me. And that's what it looks like. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.